Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hi guys, I wanted to just take a quick minute, just one minute of your time to show you this. My book, my book, it's coming out on March the 3rd. So if you want to own this cool, awesome bedtime meditation book, then make sure that you speak with your parents or your guardian and you go to the link below the video and go order it so that you get a copy first. My book's your kids. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Try and be still so that you can relax your body. Get all of your covers just right, the light in your room just right, so that you are comfortable and ready to relax. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were having a girls night. Once a month they had a girls night. It was like a spa date where they would put face masks on and do their nails and condition their fur and take care of all of the things that they needed to do to feel glorious and princess-like. They would watch girly movies together and just chill out with popcorn and good snacks and all of that fun stuff. Heidi was not very happy. Her and Lincoln had decided to end their relationship. Heidi had been going out with Lincoln for quite some time, a long time now. They got on really well together. But Heidi was talking to the cats, her sisters, telling them what happened. Heidi said, Well, you know, sometimes a relationship just doesn't work out and there doesn't have to be a really big reason. I just felt like I was growing apart and Lincoln did too and therefore we decided to just be friends. It's not the end of the world, but I'm a little bit sad. Bea said, Oh, Heidi, me feel sad for you because I did like Lincoln. He was very nice. But I understand what you mean. If you're growing apart and there's no spark there anymore, then you might as well just be friends. Cherry said, Well, you know, me personally, I'm really going to miss his pecs because he had such awesome cat pecs. All that CrossFit work he did to make his pecs that delicious. You know, he was very, very nice to look at. He was a very healthy, attractive cat. But I understand, Heidi, you know, if you're not compatible, you're not compatible. And you know, why be in a relationship if it doesn't work? You, it, a life's too short. You might as well just meet someone else. <gasps> I have an idea. I have an awesome idea. You know, there was one time where Corey did this workshop and it was all about making vision boards. Do you all know what a vision board is? Heidi said, I think so. Bea said, yeah, me too. Cherry said, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's gather up all the magazines in the house and some scissors and like some some big whiteboard and we'll all have a whiteboard each and we'll make a vision board. We'll make a vision board that shows us exactly what we want from the perfect relationship. I think it's an awesome idea because you know, the only way that the universe knows what you want is if you tell it. So you have to tell the universe what you want you have to put it out there to the world and say, you know, I'd like to meet a cat that has really nice eyebrows. If that's something you want. Both Heidi and Vea started laughing. What? I like nice eyebrows. That's definitely going to be on my vision board. The cats all got the magazines collected from around the house so that they could cut out pictures of like the perfect looking cat or the perfect date that they would go on or possibly the perfect outfit that they would wear or he would wear, things like that. They had such a good time. They had the music playing on in the background. Vea was looking for cats that looked just like Prince Charming. Cherry said, Vea, tell me what you want. Vea said, me, me wants the perfect partner 
to look like Prince Charming, to possibly wear prince clothes, like I wear princess clothes, he could wear prince-like clothes. Heidi said, what are prince clothes? Vaya said, well, just something very smart, shiny, shiny black shoes, and possibly like maybe a uniform. I do like a uniform. I think cats look very smart when they wear a uniform. Cherry said, what kind of uniform? Do you like, like, firemen uniforms? Or do you like, like, you know, like policemen uniforms? Or, or would you prefer, like, a, a uniform when someone works at the cinema? Something like that kind of uniform, Vaya said. Hmm, just like a prince uniform. That's all I can think of, really. Just shiny shoes, maybe a shiny belt. And maybe a nice white collar. Something like that. Cherry said, Heidi, if you're really thinking about it, now that you've been in this relationship with Lincoln, I'm sure you've found what you like and what you don't like in a relationship, what you would go for again, and what you would definitely say no. Like, this is a red flag. No way, Jose. No way am I going out with someone that likes pasta. Heidi started laughing. Pasta? Cherry said, yeah, I'm really not into pasta. And I don't think I'd like a cat that wants to eat pasta all the time. You know, if you go on a date and all they want to do is eat pasta and you really don't like pasta, how's that going to work? So yeah, my cat has to have nice eyebrows. He has to not like pasta. He has to maybe be like a tabby because I like stripes. I think they're very, very attractive. Uh, he has to be protective and, and he has to like, really want to be with me because I don't want a cat that doesn't really want to be with me. Who would want a boyfriend that doesn't really want to be with you and you have to call them all the time and make them want to be with you? I want a cat that really wants to be with me, that says nice things to me every day, that treats me with respect, that does fun things. They have to be very active. I need to find a, a picture. If anybody finds a picture of a cat bungee jumping, let me know because I need that on my vision board. Heidi said, hmm, I think I like kind cats. That's definitely a must for me. And a red flag would be a cat that's very aggressive. I don't like angry cats. Bea said, hmm, me too, good point. I want a gentle prince, a nice, gentle, kind prince that loves me very much. Cherry said, yeah, Faya, don't we all? Well, actually, no, we don't. I don't want a prince. I'd rather have some, like, surfer or somebody that, like, you know, loves adrenaline rushes, that likes to do bungee jumps or, or that likes to jump out of aeroplanes or that likes to swim with sharks or that likes to do, like, you know, really, like, snowboarding, something energetic. I like cats that are energetic. I really don't like cats that just want to stay home and drink cocoa, even though I do like that very much. But you know, not very often. I'd rather drink cocoa with you girls. I don't really want to drink cocoa with my boyfriend. I want to go out and do adventurous stuff. Go hiking, you know, like climb Mount Everest or something. Something active, something fun. That's what I want. If anybody finds a cat climbing Mount Everest in the magazine let me know because I need that on my vision board Heidi said I need a love heart if anybody finds a love heart I need a love heart because I think love's very important in a relationship I think you have to love each other not just like each other I think you have to love each other Vaya said me definitely wants love me wants love and romance and I want to dance. I'd like a cat that likes to dance, possibly the waltz or maybe the, 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 what's the, Charleston. I like active dancing and I like also disco dancing, but I do like to slow dance because slow dancing makes princess dresses look very, very pretty. You know, when they spin out really big and wide, it makes it look so nice. And then he'd have to look nice. He'd have to wear a very nice very nice suit and 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 yeah oh you know a pop I, if anybody finds a picture of cats ballroom dancing i'd like that on my vision board the cats 
found all sorts of different pictures and they used glue and they stuck them on their whiteboard and they wrote statements next to them like Heidi wrote love is everything next to one of the love arts. Cherry wrote just do it on her vision board because she wants you know an adrenaline junkie and then Vaya said treat me like a princess on her vision board. The cats had a lot of fun. They took their face masks off. All of the claws were polished. They were very relaxed. They'd spent all night manifesting their perfect boyfriend. They stuck the vision boards up on the wall in their bedroom so that they could look at them every day and remind themselves of what they wanted. And every time they looked at their vision boards, they were telling the universe exactly what they needed. After a while, they got comfy and snuggled down into bed together. Cherry said, You know, love is everything. You're right, Heidi. I think I would like to be in love. I bet it's really nice. You know, really nice having someone by your side all the time to do things with you. Things that you like to do together. I think it's very important. And also, someone specialer than you two. Because I know I love you two. You're my sisters. But I don't want to go out with a boyfriend that reminds me of my sisters. I want to go out with a boyfriend that makes me feel very alive and different. And, and in love. Because, you know, it's a different kind of love, isn't it? I mean, I love you. I love I love mum and dad. I love, you know, friends. And that's one type of love. But there's a different type of love. There's a love that makes you have, like, sparkles in your eyes. And, and makes your heart jump out of your chest. And makes your tummy have butterflies in it that go crazy every time you see them. That makes it hard to swallow. That makes it so you say silly things when you're with them because you're so nervous. Because you really like them that much. That they make you, like, say silly things, you know. And you afterwards you're like, oh, no, why did I say that? I feel so silly. Oh. Oh no, can't believe I just said that. I he bet he thinks I'm a right Wally. Oh no, you know, when they do that to you, I love it. It makes it so exciting and it makes it so like, oh, I'm alive, I'm alive. Heidi said, okay, it's time for sleep. Calm yourself down, Cherry. Cherry said, I know, I can't help it. I'm just really excited now about getting a boyfriend. I really would like a boyfriend. Do you think this manifesting stuff, this vision board stuff's going to work really quickly? Do you think we might all have boyfriends by tomorrow morning? Do you think the mailman or like the Amazon guy will just deliver them in the mail? And they were bing bong, there you go, there's your boyfriend. Cherry, there's your perfect match. Vaya, there's your prince. And Heidi, here you go. Your absolute perfect match. Uh, somebody that likes maths. Somebody that's very boring. Heidi said, hey. Cherry went, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. But you know what I mean. I won't want your boyfriend. That's why I did my vision board, because I want my boyfriend. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Cherry was out, just like that, asleep. Heidi took a few more minutes to get to sleep, and Vaya was sound asleep. They were all dreaming about their possible new perfect boyfriends. We'll have to see if they turn up, won't we? The 